Hello, welcome to Mr. Venergy. I'm here with your weekly uh, reading for my lovely divine feminists. What's up? For the time frame of April 25th through May 1st, we are already in May, y'all. Happy spring. We're starting to get some of that warm wet weather, even though we had a lot of rain. Uh, we will have a retrograde, I believe, starting May 10th, 14th, 20th, something like that. Sometime this month, uh, I will speak on that when that comes a little closer. So strap on y'all seat belts. Y'all know how these retrogrades are. But anyway, this is the Divine Feminine reading for April 25th through May 1st. If it uh, resonates for you, leave a blue a purple heart or both if it does not as you know there are 999,000 other readers out there check them out and come back next week or in a month or whenever um everybody's not going to resonate with you now we're on different timelines so uh it could be past present future for some past for others you know like i'm trying to say i know what i'm saying Anywho, if you like a, a reading, you can reach out to me at MrDivenergy at gmail.com or you can check me out on Wizzy, yo, okay? I had a pretty busy week, guys. Um, I just got back from picking up a friend uh, from the airport. Had a really busy weekend um, and I felt like, hey, let's get this Divine Feminine reading so I can go up early for my Divine Feminines when they love that. So, it might be a little um, not as energetic as usual because it's kind of late, but I'm getting it done. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video as well. Okay, guys? It's a little rainy out here, and you might hear a little thunder. My kids are settling down to go to bed for school, so you might hear them randomly doing whatever. Okay? So let's get to it, guys. So we have the overall energy of Divine Feminine. We have Think Things Through. This is the uh, main card, uh, overall energy for your week. So uh, this week, you could be thinking a lot. You could be reevaluating things, uh, maybe thinking things through. Um, I'm hearing looking before you jump, looking before you leap, okay? So it might be some things that require you to your attention this week, and you're going to have to think them through, okay? Or you could be just thinking about life in general. Okay, we have to do all things in moderation. So this week you could be thinking about um, what you may need to cut back on, do more of, balance out. It's like you have an energy of trying to balance things on an overall scale, okay? It could be your health, your energy, your work, your family life, your domestic, you know, whatever you got to do, okay? Just getting things decent and in order, okay? So we have another card here that came out that says say no. So there could be a situation that presents itself this week where you have to say no. Um, and then it has imagined solutions. So maybe you can get a no this week. Uh, maybe you have to say no. Um, it, but if it's a no that you receive, you have to imagine another solution. I'm hearing plan B. Okay, so this week, maybe it goes with the think things through. Um, and having plans and plan Bs on top of that and plan Cs and some other times. Just being thoroughly prepared this week, okay? We also have go with the flow and address your addictions. Okay, some things that you have been uh, letting fall at the wayside, maybe eating too much sugar, maybe smoking too much, maybe smoking too much weed, maybe drinking too much liquor, maybe drinking too much soda, maybe drinking too much energy drinks. Everybody has their own vice. So whatever your vice is, that's what I speak of when I say addictions, not just crack and meth and, you know what I'm saying, marijuana. You know, anything can be an addiction when you don't do it in moderation. It could be washing your ass. If you wash your ass 30 times a day and ain't getting nothing else done, that's an addiction. You ever watch that show, My Strange Addiction? They just brought that in my head. I used to be obsessed with that show because I like the human mind and psychology and all that. I've always been into that, hence why I do this. But I love watching those shows because I want to know what makes people tick. Why do you want to eat the pieces of the bed mattress, okay? Why do you want to eat your uh, late husband's ashes, okay? Check out that show, My Strange Addiction. People were in love with cars. This one lady had to drink like two-fifths of vodka a day. She was addicted. Some uh, lady was eating baby powder every day, all day. Um, one lady was like getting the urine out of diapers, okay? like It was real crazy, okay? So I don't know why I just went on that tangent, but some of you guys know the show. You know the show. And if you don't, check out My Strange Addiction like on Fire Stick or something. It should come up. But it's, I said all that to say this, that anything could be an addiction, okay? It's not just drugs. It's not just liquor, okay? You could be addicted to a person. You could be a workaholic, all type of things, all right? So it's like something that you're going with the flow. You might need to address your addictions on. And they're letting me know that you don't just, uh, the go with the flow part is that don't just try to cut things off cold turkey. Kind of go with the flow. Kind of like knock things off. 
until it's gone instead of just knocking it all over. And then it's like you're so without this that you fall into doing it again, okay? Like me, I'm trying to stop vaping, actually. So... I had lost it, um, and so I bought two more. It's like buy one, get one, half off, whatever. So I had two more. So I don't try to just stop cold turkey because I'm not. I'm going to get irritated or whatever the case may be, and I'm going to want to smoke it, okay? So I'll do like, okay, I won't hit it. Like I used to like smoke it when I got up in the morning. Like I won't smoke it when I get up in the morning, or I won't lay in the bed with it, or I'll put it somewhere where I'll forget about it, like maybe downstairs in the kitchen, and I work up here upstairs, and I'm not going to want to take my ass down there to go for no damn vape. You got to do things to make things harder for you to want to do them. Um, until, you know, eventually you gain some more self-control, okay? So, yeah, I don't know why they really wanted me to speak on that, but, you know, that was for someone. But that was just an example. Just like cigarettes, like leave the pack in your car if you go to work. Things that make it difficult to access it, you know, just kind of being your own parent, all right? So we also have express your joy. So there can be an expression of joy this week, something that can, be, uh, that can make you really happy, all right? Or really excited. I'm hearing happiness. Maybe it's just the overall expression of happiness that you have. A sense of peace. Uh, yeah, have faith. So, it's like you're expressing your joy. You're having faith. It's giving me like... Um, I'm hearing generosity, but I was I was thinking of gratitude, okay? Like a sense of gratitude. You know, you just feel like everything's all right with the world. You have faith. You're expressing your joy. Whatever happens, happens. You're going with the flow, but you're also doing your part. Okay, we got the thunder chiming in. We also have also reflect on your truth. So this is a week like with some thinking, some reflecting, okay? Imagining. It seems like a mental week from what I'm seeing. So we have reflect on your truth. We have retreat. I told you like mental reflection week, retreating, reflecting on your truth. This came out actually reflecting on your truth to retreating to do that, okay? Some of you guys could be taking a getaway. Some of you guys can be doing some self-care. I'm sorry, I always touch my hair. So ignore it, but I do notice it. Um, you could be going on a spa day or, you know, just taking some time out of your room every day, an hour or so, whatever the case is, just to reflect on your truth, just to meditate on your energy, your time, um, and what you have going on in your life. Also making necessary sacrifices. So um, reflecting on what you have going on in your life right now, what do you need to get rid of? What do you need to balance out? What do you need to grab the reins of and grab some self-control of, okay, this week, okay? So just really getting into alignment. It's like when you start trying to get things together and then on top of that, you got to like start skimming and skimming and getting better and better and better and better. So you do a little less toxicity until, you know, you pretty much have your shit together and you pretty much keep things on the ball. But shit always going to happen. So you can't be perfect all the time, but pretty much balance. That's the word, okay? All right. So we're going to look at some emotions for this week coming up. Make sure you guys hit the like button, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping a video. Hope you guys are doing well. It's going to be kind of a rainy week for me. It's been raining for the past month, actually. But this weekend was beautiful. It was in the 80s. It was really nice. We needed it. Holy Spirit and our angels, what are the energies coming towards Divine Feminine? What are the emotions and energies coming towards Divine Feminine for the week? Oh, that popped out. What a gratitude. And I just said this earlier. It was in my head. I heard it. Gratitude. There's a sense of gratitude this week. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Funny that came out after we just said it. Oh, shoot. So, yeah, gratitude. We have freedom and indecision. Yeah, you, your mind is going to, even if you are indecisive about something, you're going to be free from that. I feel like the mind is going to be more peaceful, settled, okay? Overall energy, some adversity this week. You're going to re have, have some challenges, or we might be coming out of challenges. We are going to clarify. But I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. It's like you're at peace with whatever comes your way. You're just going to handle it because you got to. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. Adversity. What did I say? Acceptance. I didn't even see the card. I said just accepting it, and I was just talking. And then when I looked down, acceptance, looking right in my face. Yes, that's what I felt. Even though it's adversity, you're accepting it. You're still grateful to be alive. Okay, well, I got a problem. A bill came. I didn't expect it to have to be paid this week, but it is. I got to pay it. I got to figure it out. You know, whatever scenario is your scenario, what problem you have going on. Uh, whatever the, you know, whatever's going on. But it's like you have accepted it. Like, you know what? I'm grown. I have to handle it. I can't sit here and cry. I can't put it on somebody else. I can't blame nobody else. I got to sit here and deal with my shit, okay? So acceptance that problems are going to come. I'm hearing troubles don't last always. 
Okay, so you have the gratitude, thankful for whatever opportunities that life presents. Opportunities are not always going to be positive, but you can squeeze positivity out of it. Okay? Oh, man, I crashed my car, but, you know, who knows? That could have stopped me from getting shot, okay? That could have stopped me from uh, anything. You never know what happens to keep something worse from happening, okay? It can always be worse. Remember that. So we have uh, gratitude. Yeah, gratitude. You're, you're grateful to have perseverance. Even though you have adversities, you're grateful to be able to have the tools to get through it, okay? Um, that is a very good thing to be grateful for because sometimes you have problems and you don't have no way of figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we have the tools, but most of the time we have problems because we'll have the tools or we'll have the means to get the tools, but we let our emotions freak us out. I feel like that's not you this week, okay? So I'm also feeling like you, um, you guys are in this, uh, I'm coming out of indecision, free from it. Yeah, imagination. Yeah, you're free from any indecision. Making up tall, I'm hearing tales in your head. Making, I'm hearing also false claims like in your head. Doubting yourself, lying to yourself, worrying about things. It's imagination. And I feel like you're figuring it out now. And you're not letting your brain run away with you. It's like you're taming the mind, okay? For the ones that I'm speaking to. We have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. Also, for some that you uh, feel like you were alone, yeah, loneliness and grief. Some of you guys could feel alone on this journey. It's like, I'm trying to get my shit together. Other people are still, you might feel that sense, still like in their shit or happy with it. It's like your eyes are opening and you just see certain things now that you weren't really noticing. But it kind of has a sense of loneliness, like I said, with the grief. But on here, it says, I know that I'm never alone. Excuse me. I feel like some of you guys have came to terms with your loneliness. I'm hearing like abandonment issues. Yeah. It's like, no, it, we don't feel that way anymore. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah, we have humor on top of the loneliness and grief. I'm telling you, it's like I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. It's like, okay, well, it is what it is. That didn't happen the way it was supposed to happen. Oh, well, you know what I mean? Like, oh, sucks to be that. Sucks to have that happen. It's adversity, but I accept it. I have gratitude. I'm going to persevere through it. Hey, this is a journey where I might need to be on my own for a while, but I'll see the ha humor in it. I'll see the latter side of life. It's just a part of life. It's a part of the journey. It has to be done. It's just like, oh, I want to be a millionaire, but that, t has to, that takes work. You know what I mean? Like, Let's not skip the work part. You forgot about that? Because that doesn't just fall out the sky for everybody. It can happen. But it's not likely. Okay? All right, Divine Feminine. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Archangels, what um, other messages do you have for Divine Feminine? I'm getting hot now. Y'all know I start getting hot. The messages start heating up. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. If you would like a reading, all that information is in the description box below. So we have financial and material changes. Balance. See, I told you I've been feeling that energy the whole time. Some of you guys could be Libra. Uh, we also have 11s here. Some of you guys could have been seeing 11s. It's like the more you see 11s, the more that you are balanced. The more you see the double numbers, the more you are balanced. Yet yeah, destiny. Mm -hmm. It's like you come into alignment with something. Yeah, positive movement forward. You're coming into alignment with something. Sorry about that. My daughter had to ask me something. So, hopefully I'm leaving off where I was. Positive move forward here. Yeah, you're moving forward positively. You're going towards the sunlight, Divine Feminine. And we've been channeling the sunlight for the last uh, few weeks here. Yeah, power. Positive move forward with power. Two eights, okay? Lots of energy, okay? You have a lot of energy this week. You'll have a lot of things going fast and moving forward. You got power and positive move forward. Some of you guys could be Leo. Some of you guys could be seeing eights, okay? The infinity symbol as well, all right? Ooh, what goes up must come down as, uh, so, as above, so below. It's like, okay, when, you know, the circle of life and all that, it's like it's on the upswing. It's going into an upswing now. You could have been on the other side, and now it's like an upswing, okay? Your power is coming back. Um, you're moving in a better direction. Ooh, I'm getting real hot. Yeah, we're hitting on it, y'all. Some of you guys could get some type of piece of jewelry this week from someone, or I guess maybe purchasing your own. Could be a watch, a necklace, a uh, um, bracelet. 
We have financial and material changes, okay? We have new beginnings in that. If you had any difficulties in financial and material things, they are new beginnings, okay? Some things that you planted uh, before could be coming back, okay? Some opportunities that were from the past could be coming back. Um, sixes here as well. We got two eights, two sixes, all right? Mm-hmm. You're calling things back in. Yeah. Because you started over. So now it's like, oh, we're starting over correctly this way. Now things can come in. Like, say if you're not doing something like the right way, you'll get some type of profit, okay? But sometimes things, I'm really getting hot. But sometimes things, um, because you're not doing it the right way, you're not going to get the full benefit. It's like, damn, now we have to go a few months or however long without anything because we have to break that down and rebuild it up so it can be uh, better and get more. But it's like, you got to go through the trouble of doing that. So do I just want these crumbs or do I want to break it all the way down and do it right so it can be way more than what I had before, but I got to put in the work or starting over. You see what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm saying, but that's how they broke it down to me. All right, so we have balance. Yeah, base chakra. I didn't even notice it. Balance, starting from the beginning. Number one foundation, base chakra, root chakra, Okay. Building on a new foundation. I'm telling you, having all the tools that you need. On this balance card, all the tools are here. Mental, emotional, lo mo emotional, mo that ain't even a word. Mental, emotional health, uh, physical health, okay? Financial stability. Um, I'm hearing um, energy, okay? Life force coming back all into you. Starting, oh, because you started over. You didn't mind getting rid of something to rebuild because you were you were tired of the outcome, and now it's like that you did you did what you had to do. I'm high, y'all. It is really coming in, channeling right now. You did what you had to do. You know what I mean? And it's like you went and you suffered, and now we're getting we're going into the sun. We're getting closer to the sun. Okay, we're getting getting closer to building our power back up. I'm hearing regenerated. Okay, rejuvenated. We have destiny here, but it seems like this had to happen. Yeah, your intuition could have told you this. Like it's time now. Okay, we can't we can't waste any more time. It's time. Sacral chakra, we're showing. It's time, and you. It's like you knew it. Yeah, you had to have patience for something to grow. You had to grow. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, that, that's why you had to have the solitude. You you need to grow in solitude. Holy Spirit needed to nurture you. Yeah, so your passion could be reignited. Ace of Wands. Amen. Yeah. Okay, that was nice. Whew. And I got really hot on that message. I did good the first two messages, but this third deck took me out. Okay, we're going to pull a couple of these. If you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. Blue or purple hearts, so I know if it resonates. And if you're new, just stop by and say hello. And if you're, you've are been here for a while, you can say hello too. Yeah, I'm hearing like Holy Spirit is working on you, mending you, fixing you, getting you ready. Yeah, blessed. You're blessed and highly favored, all right? You're the chosen one. 22. Some of you guys can be seeing 22s, twos. Yeah, you're blessed because you went out to the sea. You went out to study yourself, focus yourself. Holy Spirit saw you there all along. He knows when you're really working on yourself. He knows, okay? You're watching your back. She has her goggles, binoculars back there, watching your back. You also could be reading and get, meditating, getting in tune, okay? And you know where you're going. You know what direction you're going. Okay, straight ahead, pushing forward. Emotions aren't too crazy because this water is not tumultuous. It's not choppy water. Okay, it's, it looks very still and peaceful, actually. Seems like it would be very quiet out there. Ooh, my lights just flickered. Okay, so, uh, it, but the Holy Spirit was watching you. He knows when you're authentic and you're not. You could tell Facebook and the world and everybody else that, yeah, I'm working on me. I'm doing this. He knows if you're lying or not, if you capping, as we say in the city, in Chicago. But yeah. He knows. So he knows that this time around, you, you seem authentic, okay? Even if you didn't go out to be unauthentic before, you was just in your shit. It's like this. It's like the girl that always say, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. They be authentic. They be really mad. They really do. You know, but that emotion wears off. I feel like mentally you said you were done with something. And when it's mental and the emotions are taken out, it can't change because this, you it's, it's stuck in your mental, okay? This was a conscious, clear decision instead of an emotionally based one, okay? 
Some of you guys can be psychologists or counselors. I just feel like I broke that like down like very um analytical like I don't know it was just weird okay some of you guys could be really um yeah like psychologists or counselors or life coaches or readers as well so we have mending <clears throat> um you guys know deep down you're healing okay you have a deep knowing that things are being healed right now things are being mended being put back in their places that's what I'm hearing okay Piece by piece. But you know this too. Yeah, you, you had to know that all that glitters isn't gold. And you also know that when people always scream a healing journey, they act like it's this some peaceful, nice little thing. And it ain't fucking what it is. All that glitters isn't gold. This shit hurts, all right? When you're really healing yourself inside out, that shit don't feel good to cut people off. That shit don't feel good because they don't really know why. Because But you can are able to see everyone's shit because you're really dealing with chores. So people don't understand the moves you're making. You could be losing friends. You could be losing the desire for certain things. That's not fun. Okay, that healing journey ain't fun. And anybody that dresses it up to be that, they a goddamn lie, all right? It's not fun. And, they ain't go and it ain't going to be easy. Some days are better than most, okay? But it gets better as you go on. That's all I can say. It's like grief, all right? That's it. Okay, so we have poised, being ready, being prepared to go the distance. It's like um, you were on a marathon. No, it's giving me like a car race. Ooh, y'all, sorry. My fan, little fan broke, as y'all know. And I've been fine, cool up here. I'm like, okay, I'm cool to not have a fan or anything. I knew when I started reading, I was going to start getting high to hell. Okay? So, this is what I got to say. Um, You know when you're in a, a getting ready for some NASCAR shit, all right? And that's this is just what I'm saying. I can only see tell you the visions. And you know how you go a few laps, go a few laps. You got to do a pit stop, Okay? And it's like, you got to keep on going, keep on going. You're tired, whatever. You need water, whatever the case is. And you finally get to that pit stop. And it's like, you're energized. Everybody helps you. Tires, zoop, zoop, doo, 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 water, oil, boop, whatever you got to do. Boom. That's what I feel like. I feel like this, you're on the journey and you're like on the last leg of this shit, okay? This healing journey. And you just got power. You're going to get your one last power up to do those last final laps, okay? That's what I'm seeing. That's the vision. We might call this like a NASCAR. <laughs> so we have over here chop wood, a change in the wind. Even though it's a change in the wind, you keep working. That broom ain't moving, okay? It's a change in the wind, but that zebra ain't went nowhere, all right? Things might fall off. A side might fall off the side of your ass, okay? And my, my fender might come the fuck off, okay? The chimney might blow in the wind, but that house is still standing, all right? You're that house, all right? And when it's done with the storm or whatever's going on, you might look a little different, but it'll be over. Keep chopping the wood. Keep working no matter what's going on. The sirens are going off. Don't get scared and get frantic and run around like everybody else. You stay there and do what you need to do and be in the right mind, okay? And focus on what you need to get done so you're cool, all right? So, yeah, you're chopping wood. It's changing the wind. Don't get stuck on why things are happening, okay? That's the trick. Oh my goodness, why is why is this happening? And why is me? And woe is who? And yo is yay. And let's stop asking why. It doesn't matter. It's life. Shit happens. That's why. Okay? There you go. There's the answer to the question I always wanted to know because it's fucking life and that's what the fuck happens. Shit. Okay? So when it's thrown at you, you have to continue to move forward and do what you have to do. We can't sit down. Holy Spirit said, this is not the time to sit down. All right? It's the time to actually get more into what you need to be doing. And also, he's giving you the energy to do so. So you should be really powerful right now, okay? In my opinion, your energy should be, be on point, okay? I feel like he's giving you all the tools to do what you need to get done. So don't worry about what's going on around you. You'll, you'll be given what, you're, what, what is needed, okay? All right, guys. So we're going to pull some tarot to see what's coming towards us this week for April 25th through May 1st in regards to tarot. Specific situations. Some of you guys could be Gemini. We got the Lover's card. Some of you guys could be Sagittarius. We got the Page of Wands. And that could be the Gossiper, Liar, Warrior. The Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. Divine Feminine energy as well. King of Swords in the overall energy. Libra, Gemini, 
or Aquarius male energy. It's just energy. It could be masculine or feminine. It could be a woman or a man, okay? But this is just the energy. Giving me the energy of someone maybe wise. I see this owl here. You know, like those people that are wise, but they're like sarcastic and dry. It's like, I know it all already. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, don't like a grandparent or something. Don't do that. A hard uh, a hard head make a soft ass. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like cutting. It's like, damn, grandma, why you have to put it like that? It's like somebody could be wise or talk to you this week. That uh, It could be a friend. Got the three of cups here. Um, that their words can be piercing, but they're honest. And they're they're like, it might not sound loving, but you know they love you, okay? It could be the friend that say, hey, friend, don't wear that. And you have two other friends like, girl, you look good. And then you like, yeah, that bitch a hater. You get out there and motherfuckers is laughing and talking about you. And you realize those other two bitches was the hater. And the one that broke it down to you but told you the truth was the real friend, okay? It's, it's like it's giving me that energy, okay? It's like, I got to say what I got to say. You might hate me now, but you'll love me later, all right? So somebody could have that energy this week, or that could be you. Or you have to be like this around some friends. It could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, female. Uh, somebody could also be contemplating about um, these women, okay? Trying to make a logical and wise decision. Trying to make their next move, their best move. It could be a divine masculine, not sure. But it seems like it's a, a group of women, but it's one that is definitely singled out. But this person doesn't seem like they could be communicating right now. It seems like the feminine energy is a little happier and getting victories and wins. And the uh, masculine energy is more in a thought space, okay? Trying to figure things out. Let's clarify the lovers. Yeah, uh, the magician, some of you guys could be or, uh, dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. Or it's like uh, somebody's trying to manifest you in regards to love or, you know, uh, some type of maybe sexual union or whatever or love or just want to manifest you. But we're going to clarify more. I'm seeing that eight again, that infinity symbol. Some of you guys can be seeing that this week. Keep seeing that. Yeah, we have the hierophant. Yeah, somebody definitely trying to manifest maybe a commitment um, or want to go on a date or rekindle a relationship. Okay, somebody is trying to, I don't want to say work their wooju because I don't delve in spell work. But mm, if it's not like spell work, like um, manipulation tactics or I don't get a bad connotation with it yet. This could just be somebody trying to manifest and make something happen. Somebody is trying to manifest you this week. I don't get like... Uh, witchcraft or manipulation yet it could be an aries or a taurus uh virgo okay we got the hermit somebody that you could have been uh not paying attention to maybe ignoring in your own world but they're definitely trying to draw you in this week clarify we have the page of swords the two of wands that could be an indecisive air sign libra gemini aquarius um or immature air sign this could be a child that somebody has to make a decision about Okay. Um, somebody could uh, lie to get the upper hand in the situation this week to get what they want. I'm just telling you what I see. It's like it's two choices. And then it's like somebody tells some type of lie to get the edge. And then it's like, okay, I'll take that. But it was only because of that lie. All right. That could be job, career, lover, family, whatever. Okay. Or this could be like past energy. Somebody was bamboozled to think that another option was uh, better than the next. Mm-hmm. But it's like this was sent to drain. I'm seeing like... Oh, this is weird. I'm seeing like a situation somebody was in before. Uh, my... Where it was like... Maybe the real situation, because this, this two of cups, I've never seen it like this. I see it's like somebody's trying to squeeze the rainbow out of you. And you know, rainbows are like special things, unicorny, like, oh, one of a kind. Somebody's like trying to squeeze somebody's essence out because that rainbow juice, whatever, reminds me of like an essence. And it's giving me the energy of that person not like holding their hand in this card today. It's like they're trying to squeeze that out. And that's like one of a kind energy. Yeah, somebody could get energy through someone else from somebody. Like, they get the good energy from this person. And then they take it to the other person. And then they think that it's because of 
them that they feel good. Like, I can't explain it, guys. Maybe you hearing it, you can decipher it better, but this is how it's popping up in my head. It's like, it, it could be a situation that's confusing. So, since it's so confusing, it's like they don't know when somebody is throwing them off because it's already so fucking confusing. So, when somebody does these manipulative things, somebody can't really pick up on it because the situation is already fucked up. So, somebody does little things to get the upper hand and somebody really thinks that they have the upper hand, but they don't. It's like they cheat to get it, but nobody knows, notices. But maybe someone else. Like, no, you don't see that it, you know, it's me. That's what I'm hearing somebody saying. But somebody has released this, yeah. Somebody could take someone's life force, an en energy vampire. Because somebody gets this energy from the source. And then somebody links up with somebody else and that other person squeezes it out of them. Like, it gives me energy like the blessing. You, you, like, I've never seen this like this. So this interpretation, please excuse me. You see how she's getting that life force straight from source. And then it's like somebody gives it to somebody else and they squeeze it out to give it to others. Like, what the fuck? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Well, that person try to act like it's day juice, it's day sauce. It's not... Oof. So we have the six of wands with the wheel. But I feel like people are going to figure this out because the, wheel, the wheels are going to turn. And somebody's going to get their rec recognition. See, this, this person here, this card just came out with this wheel of fortune. It's like, okay, this seems like the same person because they're like they doing the same shit, don't they? This is this person. It's like you're going to get acknowledged because it was your energy all along. And people are going to realize it's your energy. Like a lot of people are going to realize it was you. Like I said, it's like you knew you, it was you. Other people act like they didn't know it was you. But they took that awesome energy and took it other places. Like it was their game with them. But then it's like you get it from the direct source. It's giving me the energy of like Alibaba and Amazon. You know like... How is direct sellers or you can get something through something else? That's what it's given, like third party manufacturer. <laughs> third party manufacturer. God damn. Mmm. Yep. But somebody's gonna be found out and they will get their recognition because they're the source. So somebody finally gets their recognition and somebody's stuck with what the fuck they thought was real because they put something else on the back burner. But it was lies. Somebody was good with keeping up with their lies. Your life force. Especially if it was a third party, okay? Third party alert. Ring the bell. If it was a third party, then it's like when you were in this triangulation, four angulation, five angulation, whatever the fuck it was, however many people, you know, nowadays it's crazy. You were like the light of the group, okay? I know it sounds crazy. You, there was a deeper understanding with you. And then you took yourself out of this situation. And I was like, everybody has no life force. You see what I'm saying? Like, you were powering the shit. It's like, everybody's bored, confused, because can't nobody, ain't nobody got nobody to argue with. Ain't nobody getting nothing from you. You've left your, you took yourself out of the equation. Now the problem can't be solved now, all of a sudden. But when before everybody was putting shit on you, you could have been the liar and the manipulator and all this. And then it's like, when you took yourself out of it, it even went to more shit. So it's like, was I holding the shit up or was I fucking it up? Because at this point, I think I was holding it up because all you motherfuckers are retarded now. It's like nobody else has anybody to blame it on. So people are forced to look at themselves because you've taken yourself out of a situation, job, relationship, whatever the case is. But that's the only way I could break it down to where it made sense. So we have the Empress here, you, Divine Feminine. Just, I feel like you guys are getting good rest. You're at peace. Like, look at her. I sleep like that. Actually, I sleep on my hands. I know, right? Who else sleep? If you sleep on your hands, put a blue or purple heart. <laughs> but sleeping good at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you uh, poured out these emotions. You poured out baggage. You're, you're releasing baggage. You're dropping off baggage. Mm -hmm. I keep saying it. I don't know why. But it's like dropping off baggage. Anything that emotionally depleted you. It's like a, um, see, this is like a conveyor belt. It could have even been shit from years and years. Like, boop, 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 boop. Not going to think about any that anymore. Not going to entertain that anymore. It could be anything, like a lot of shit, like addictions, people, friends, situation. Like, it could be a whole overhaul, like, fast. 
okay? Yeah, we have the high priestess. People are going to want to collaborate with you. Yeah, you are the empress. But on these cards, it's like you're giving me high priestess energy this week. But because in the empress, you know, embodies that high priestess too. But it's like you're more in your intuition. Like on the 3D, you look like the print empress and act like the empress. You got that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got a good mindset. You take care of your shit. You're beautiful. You're in your shit, whatever. But in spirituality, you are the imp the uh, high priestess. That's what I'm getting. You're intuitive. You're on point. This is like the empress in the spiritual realm is the high priestess. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm trying to say it. So you are becoming emotionally balanced spiritually and physically. Okay? Awesome shit. People are going to want to collaborate with you a lot because your energy is heightening. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Knight of Wands for real. You're definitely going to be bringing in fuck boy, fuck girl energy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, they're going to want to uh, dance to the beat of your drum, baby. But you like, nah, man, I'm already, I'm balanced and shit. I'm not going to go into no fuck shit. Yeah, you got strength now. Some of you guys could be Leos. You got strength now. It's like, nope, you got strength against that fuck energy. You got strength with dealing with people with fuck energy. People, places, things, jobs, bosses, whatever. Family members. Yeah, anything with fuck energy, you ain't fucking with it. Yeah, anything that was deceptive and kept you uh, in the hangman energy, mm -mm, you gain, gain strength against that as well. Yes, indeed. People moving too goddamn slow. You gain strength from that. People feeling like they got a choice and have a decision that really don't because you taking yourself out of a situation. You found strength in that. Okay. You could want ultimate stability. I feel like you are the king of pentacles. Okay. Um, or there could be a king of pentacles that wants something and you could be telling them when pigs fly. All right. Or somebody could really want you, but they feel like you are hard to obtain. It could be a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male, um, or masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody dreams about you. Somebody dreams about uh, stability with you or daydreams or imagines. It could be a Pisces. Somebody feels like you're getting harder and harder to obtain. Reminding me of like a kite that got away. Like somebody let the string. You know how the kites go higher and higher until they go. Okay, like balloons. Yeah. So, yeah, some of you guys can be Aquarius. Somebody is directly connecting to source, okay? They're connecting with their thoughts and think about what coulda, shoulda, houlda, coulda. And this other person is connecting to source. Yet yeah, somebody is burdened by this. Somebody kind of feels lost on their journey now. Like, now that you've released yourself, it's like, well, what do I do now? Like I said, that could be anyone. Yeah, you are stable. Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. People have to come on your level now. Somebody could be trying to get on your level. Yeah. You are above the competition, okay? Yes, indeed. You are above the competition. Five of Wands. Look at they, how they over here killing and clamoring themselves. And look how they over to the side like, baby, I could never <laughs> compete. For what? <laughs> For who? For when? And, and not compete. Does it look like she could will, will compete? Does it look like she finna go climb on the motherfuckers and be out there with them? These people all got on the same shit. They look like they doing the same motherfucking shit. She don't even look like they ass. In no way, shape, form, or fashion. She's not even like them. You feel me? They are sheeple. They look alike. They dress alike. They talk alike. They into the same fashion. They have no fucking creativity. They don't. They close minded. They're sleep. Like, nah, man, nah. I could never fucking put myself into a competition with you motherfuckers. Be real. And it's burdening people because it's like, what? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Let me pull on this queen of pentacles. Very stable this week. And mind, and it's giving me the energy and spirituality, mind, body, and soul. Some of you guys could be cancer. Yeah, the ace of wands is back. Passion. Ooh, things moving real fast. King of cups. Somebody could be in their feelings about you. And the emperor had to make an appearance today. Okay, King of Cups, the Emperor could be in their feelings, okay? Or there could be an Emperor and a King of Cups. Somebody is flying in passionately. Somebody could want to take you somewhere, go somewhere. Yeah, Eight of Wands, definitely sexual energy or whatever. But they're going to realize you're not the same motherfucker that you were, okay? Uh-huh. You was just ready to sail off the dock, okay? Oh, yeah, I was just going for my nightly swim. Somebody, I hear somebody saying that. Oh, I was just going for a night swim. Or I was in the pool taking a night swim, and it's like, what? When do you ever do that? You know, I'm just, you know, getting in tune with myself. I had this pool this long. I never even jumped in it. Why not live life? It's like you're changing. You're going to try something new. Somebody could be trying to learn how to surf. It is getting warm. 
Somebody could be going to a Hawaii or a tiki themed party. I don't know why I'm getting that tiki themed. Tiki themed. Why did I say tiki themed? Is that even a thing? Like, whatever. Um, but yeah, somebody's coming to it. They could want to go to a party. But you're definitely not the same person you used to be. Clarify this judgment. That keeps coming up. Uh, yep, see? You surrender. These, these have been coming out a lot together lately in the readings. Surrendering and get rid of an old body mind, an old mind frame, an old mindset. You're not who you used to be. And we sticking with that, baby. So we're going to go with a card to go and we're going to close it up. Oh, we're going to do... Um... If anybody is like in a separation, we'll pull a couple of these. Because some people, you know, care about that part. But we're not going to take that. Okay. We want like to get a good shuffle. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I want to admit it. This part, Yeah, this person's still stubborn. Focus on you. I settle for second best because I don't deserve you. What did I say? I said this person could be with someone else, okay? And you were like the light. And like I said, people get really bent up when somebody, they feel like picks someone over them. Maybe that was their level. You might be too advanced, okay? Do not take that type of stuff as an uh, insecure hit to you. It's not. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. Yeah, this person is very stubborn. They settle for second best because they feel like they don't deserve you. They still feel deeply connected, won't admit it. Their heart keeps coming back to you and they don't even want it to. So it's like, why would I wait for you, ma'am or sir? Like, be real. So, it's, yeah. Uh, overall, I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. This person will want to come back. But they're in their head. I'm fantasizing about getting a second chance. I settle for second best. I don't even deserve you. It's like they're still in their shit. They still got to do work. And it's a no for me. You know what I mean? It's like, no, ma'am or sir. No. It's a no for me. Yeah, it's still, yeah, knowing that, that, that it's not right and knowing what the right thing is to do and still not doing it. It's like, baby, you got some healing to do, have fun in that relationship. But uh, I feel like most of you guys, the ship sailed, sailing or getting ready to sail. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, what do people, uh, okay, this just popped up. Maybe somebody's wanting to know that. What do people see you as or what energy you're in right now? I don't know. I just brung that up. Yeah, they feel like you are in a sacred space. Communing with Holy Spirit. Nurturing yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a mystery. Yeah. Suspense. Entering your unknown territory. They feel like they, they're not understanding you right now, Divine Feminine. You're in a sacred space. You're mysterious. You're different. Why is she different? Why is he different? Healing. You're in a healing. These are people seeing you healing. They're seeing you doing better. You were sick, okay? You're doing better. Self-care, time out, being gentle with yourself. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Overall, this is people see you. Transformation. Deception. Some people thought it was deception at first, but you keep, yeah, the community. The community, you could be raising the community's vibration. Um, there could be a lot of deception uh, vibrating from the community, maybe um, on social media, maybe in your community. Since you are radiating so high, people, mm, they don't like it, okay? Because we got that deception with the vibration of the community. People see you change and definitely giving me social media vibes. They definitely might not like that, okay? They don't like it. But transformation, overall energy, people see you as transforming, breakthrough, reinvention, ready for the next level. They see you as surrendering, Okay? And they, they, they fear it. It makes them insecure. Mm-hmm. Your transformation and your surrender is making p other people fearful. Because they you, you're, a, you're a mystery again. You're, you're, you, you're in a sacred space. They can't touch you. You're healing. Okay? They don't like it. I don't know. That was random. I've never, like, pulled for what the other people think about you. But they just wanted me to do that. All right, Divine Feminine. We're going to pull a couple of these... Uh, Crazy cards. Y'all know I like the pool I've been doing lately. Just a couple. We're not going to go too far with these. Quick random messages. 
Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so um you know when I'm dropping another video. Make sure you leave a blue or purple heart. Just say hello, okay? Love you guys. If you would like to donate, you can donate to Mr. Energy. It's in the description box below. At Cash App or my PayPal. I gotta set that up again because Venusian and Scorpio intuition is still on there. Okay. This is like the second time Hugh Jackman has come out. I wonder what's going on with him. We might hear some about him. Okay, so we have uh, Paper Straws. Okay, somebody could be on their eco-friendly shit right now with the Paper Straws. It's crazy. I was looking at Paper Straws the other day. I was like, I'm not going to buy that. That's just going too far because they just, like, they just diminish really fastly. It says, a nightmare after two sips. Paper Straws. Paper Straws. Yeah, you can find out some people are like fake paper. It's like after two conversations, it's like, oh, you're no good. You know, you're not really the real deal. Let's see, CBD oil for anxiety. Some of you guys could be um, using CBD oil. Uh, some of you guys could get got with some CBD. You think it's, well, it is marijuana, but you know what I mean? You might think it's the like uh, street marijuana where you're getting high as shit, okay? And it's just CBD, body high, make your body feel better, shit like that. Um, yeah, somebody could get got like that. Like, oh man, this, this is fake. See, I told you after like a couple of hits, it's like, it's not doing, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. It's CBD. That's why. All right. Somebody could try to pass it off as like hardcore marijuana. Uh, dabs I'm here. Okay. So we have drop it like it's hot with peer pressure. Somebody could be pressuring you to twerk, dance. Yeah, some friends could talk somebody into stripping, dancing, twerking. Like, you can go out and parents like, oh, dance. And you're not the dancer. Like, I'm not the dancer out the friends. Like, I can, but I don't. It's just, I, I don't do all that. Like, I'm in the background chick. Like, I just watch people and shit. And, and dudes will walk up to me like, damn, what's to you? You know, you, I like you. You, what? <laughs> you know? Then they talk to me, and I'm like an earful. And they're like, oh, my God, she is awesome. But, yeah, I don't like to really be seen like that. Like, I, I'm not going to be out there sweating and irking and jerking and all that shit. It'd be a lot. <laughs> but anyway, we have Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, the best X-Men, drunk texting. Ugh. So somebody could be uh, getting texts from somebody that has like a, a, a beard, that, uh, extremely hairy. Um, somebody that just feels like they're the best dude on earth. This could be somebody that's very macho. They could just text you some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Or you could be texting somebody like an ex. Or somebody, somebody thinks it's hot. I'm hearing hot. I don't usually say, oh, like, he's hot. But somebody's saying that. Like, you can text them drunk or they can text you drunk. See, we got the one night stand with Russian hacking. Oh, Lord. <sighs> A nightmare activity without much standing involved. One night stand. A national pastime. Second to vodka. Interference. Some type of, um interference i'm here maybe night vision somebody could be hacking somebody's night vision gps is with this you know what going on right now in that you know what area yeah it's like nighttime people are messing with things interfering hacking somebody's hacking at night Yeah, somebody's hacking at night. Or somebody could have hackers in regards to this situation, and they're not telling them the whole truth. Um, because we have e-cigarette, like diet coke, modified enough to make you think you're making a healthy decision. People that are on, um, picking the sides or whatever's going on with this going on uh, over there overseas with the war and everything. Um, people that are working directly close in it. They might not know the full truth, okay? They feel like they could be doing it for a just cause. They feel like they could be doing things because they're right, it's for their country or whatever. It's deeper than that. They don't even know. They're just being used to do the bidding. Like, it could be like hackers, yeah, do this. This is your job. This is for your country. But it could be like it's not on the up and up. Yeah, like somebody's eating donuts. We got coffee up all night, hacking something. I wouldn't be surprised if we heard something gets hacked this week. Or soon. Something get hacked in regards to the war or something. Okay, I'm just hearing that. Sorry. 
And I don't even like speaking on that. <laughs> it just made me mad. I'm going to pull something else on this dropper like it's hot prayer pressure. Somebody could be pressuring you to have sex as well. Yeah, we got North Korea here. Somebody could want to pressure someone to do acts of violence. Could have something to do with North Korea. Okay, God, I'm like speaking on these, but these cards do this. North Korea. Somebody could have pressure to drop something or drop, um, I'm hearing artillery or whatever the case is. It could be something with that. Okay, I'm going to get out of there. Because I'm hearing like hot potato dropping like it's hot. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, um, we got the uh, Wolverine dude, drunk texting or whatever, macho dude. A guaranteed crowd pleaser. All I want for Christmas is you. Yeah, somebody wants to rock your world. Like, somebody could say, yeah, I want to hit that. You know what I mean? Yeah, this person is, could be an a alcoholic. Yeah, somebody be careful. Like, you can link up with somebody, have a one-night stand, but you wake up in a strange place or next to your ex or a strange person because you're drinking a lot. Okay, then you end up drink drunk texting, and then you end up with someone. Yeah, this person could be in college. Mm -hmm. It could be a college student. So this could be a child, you, or whoever. Be careful. Somebody's been drinking in college. Okay? It could be uh, somebody, you know, macho man or whatever. Or somebody could live in a, like a college area where there's a lot of parties and frat parties or whatever. Be careful. A lot of chances for one night stands and things like that. Okay? So there you go. We're going to leave you with a card to go. An affirmation card. We'll see. I want to make it a little long for y'all as a treat. And it's on time. Y'all can't beat that with a little bag. Don't do me. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Did we get this in the one last week? And that's crazy because when I was um, shuffling off camera... We had to look for a card, which I believe was the Divine Feminine's main energy in uh, one of the pulls that I did. And it's either came in the week, but it, it, it was it was given, it was like, oh, some of the energy is spilling over from last week, which we know happens, but it's like really strong energy from next last week. But I think we got this, but that's funny that it says this though. Manifestation. But it could have been in the weekly what's up. It's in one of those two, I believe. If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Remember I said I didn't like the conjure part because I felt like it was like spell work or something. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true or is it just that? Also, if it, like I said, I gave this message when I got this before. Um, you are in a very manifestative, in, that's the first message I want to give. You are in a manifestation energy because we got this shit last week, okay? You are very powerful and magnetic right now. Also, when I gave that witchcraft uh, message, the spell message, they could be trying to in, 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 okay, entice, in, intensify it, okay? Um, and it's not working because Holy Spirit is making you more powerful as well. So it's like they're going against Holy Spirit, not you. I feel like, like I said, I feel like a lot of you had a lot of energy, a lot of power this week, manifesting, making things happen, okay? That's what manifesting is, making shit happen and getting it done and getting the fruits of your reward. But I also feel like, yeah, the people that are against you are going to try to turn it up a notch this week, too. But you're good. You're going to shine bright, baby. Bright like a diamond, all right? I love you guys. And until next time, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. Give us blue or purple hearts. Love you. Bye-bye.